most of us attract by default. We just think that we don't have any control over it. Our thoughts and feelings are on autopilot. And so everything is brought to us by default. Now if this is your first time to hear this, it may feel like, oh, I have to monitor my thoughts? This is going to be a lot of work. It will seem like that at first, but that's where the fun begins. The fun is that there are many shortcuts to the law of attraction. And you get to choose the shortcuts that work best for you. Watch this video fully. Hi hello viewers, we are Peace Buddy. YouTube channel? Our aim is to spread law of attraction throughout the world. Let's go into the topic now. It's impossible to monitor every thought we have. Researchers tell us that we have about 60,000 thoughts in a day. Can you imagine how exhausted you'd feel trying to control all 60,000 of those thoughts? Fortunately there's an easier way, and it's our feelings. Our feelings? Let us know what we're thinking. The emotions are an incredible gift. That we have to let us know what we're thinking. You want to become aware of how you're feeling. Because, it is the fastest way for you to know what you're thinking. You have two sets of feelings. Good feelings and bad feelings. And you know the difference between the two. Because one makes you feel good, and the other makes you feel bad. It's the depression, it's the anger, it's the resentment, it's the guilt. It's those feelings that don't make you feel empowered. Those are the bad feelings. No one can tell you whether you are feeling good or bad. Because you are the only one who knows how you are feeling at any time. If you are not sure how you are feeling, just ask yourself. How am I feeling? You can stop and ask this question often during the day. And as you do you will become more aware of how you are feeling. The flip side to that is that you have good emotions and good feelings. You know when they come because they make you feel good. Excitement, joy, gratitude, love. Imagine, if we could feel that way every day. When you celebrate the good feelings, you'll draw to you more good feelings, and things that make you feel good. It's really so simple. What am I attracting right now? Well, how do you feel? I feel good. Well good, keep doing that. As you go about your day, the law of attraction is working in every second. Everything we think and feel is creating our future. Be aware that as you are feeling good, you are powerfully attracting more good things to you. Let's go one step further. What if your feelings are actually communication from the universe to let you know what you're thinking? Your feelings are communication back to you from the universe, telling you what frequency you are currently on. Your feelings are your frequency feedback mechanism. When you are feeling good feelings, it is communication back from the universe saying, you are thinking good thoughts likewise. When you are feeling bad, you are receiving communication back from the universe saying, you are thinking bad thoughts. So when you are feeling bad it is communication from the universe, and in effect it is saying, warning, change thinking now. Negative frequency recording, change frequency. You are getting exactly what you are feeling about. Not so much what you are thinking about. That's why people tend to spiral if they stub their toe getting out of bed. Their whole day goes like that. They have no clue that a simple shifting of their emotions can change their entire day, and life. If you start out having a good day, and you're in that particular happy feeling, as long as you don't allow something to change your mood, you're going to continue to attract, by the law of attraction, more situations and people that sustain that happy feeling. You can begin right now to feel healthy. You can begin to feel prosperous. You can begin to feed the love that's surrounding you. Even if it's not there, and what will happen is the universe will correspond to the nature of your song. The universe will correspond to the nature of that inner feeling and manifest, because that's the way you feel. So what are you feeling now? Take a few moments to think about how you feel. If you're not feeling as good as you'd like to, Focus on feeling your feelings inside and purposefully lift them. As you focus intensely on your feelings, 
with the intention to lift yourself, you can powerfully elevate them. One way is to close your eyes, focus on your feelings inside, and smile for one minute. You have the power to change anything. Because you are the one who chooses your thoughts and you are the one who feels your feelings. You create your own universe as you go along. When you're feeling down, did you know that you can change it in an instant? Put on a beautiful piece of music. Or start singing. That'll change your emotion. Or think of something beautiful. Think of a baby or somebody that you truly love, and well on it. Really keep the thought in your mind. Block everything out but that thought. I guarantee you'll start to feel good. Make a list of some secret shifters to have up your sleeve. By mind shifters. I mean things that can change your feelings in a snap. It might be beautiful memories, future events, funny moments, nature, a person you love, your favorite music. Then if you find yourself angry or frustrated or not feeling good, turn to your mind shifters list and focus on one of them. Different things will shift you at different times. So if one doesn't work, go to another. It only takes a minute or two of changing focus to shift yourself and shift your frequency. The principle of feeling good applies to your family pets, for instance. Animals are wonderful, because they put you in a great emotional state. When you feel love for your pet, that great state of love will bring goodness into your life. And what a gift that is. There is no greater power in the universe than the power of love. The feeling of love is the highest frequency you can emit. If you could wrap every thought in love, if you could love everything and everyone, your life would be transformed. In fact, some of the great thinkers of the past referred to the law of attraction as the law of love. And if you think about it, you will understand why. If you think unkind thoughts about someone else, you will experience those unkind thoughts manifested. You cannot harm another with your thoughts, you only harm you. If you think thoughts of love, guess who receives the benefits, you. So if your predominant state is love, the law of attraction or the law of love responds with the mightiest force because you are on the highest frequency possible. Once you begin to understand and truly master your thoughts and feelings, that's when you see how you create your own reality. That's where your freedom is, that's where all your power is. A wonderful quote from the great Albert Einstein. The most important question any human being can ask themselves is, is this a friendly universe? Knowing the law of attraction, the only answer to give is, yes, the universe is friendly. Why? Because when you answer in this way, by the law of attraction you must experience that. Albert Einstein posed this powerful question because he knew the law of attraction. He knew by asking the question it would force us to think and make a choice. He gave us a great opportunity, just by posing the question, to take Einstein's intention even further. You can affirm and proclaim, this is a magnificent universe. The universe is bringing all good things to me. The universe is conspiring for me in all things. The universe is supporting me in everything I do. The universe meets all my needs immediately. Know that this is a friendly universe. In the next episode we see about how to use law of attraction, more strongly. Stay tuned with us. Subscribe to our Peace Buddy channel, don't forget to click the bell icon. Have a great day. Thank you.